Today, we're gonna to try Dr. Andrew Huberman's growth hormone protocol, which is gonna help me recover well, be stronger and become superhuman, supposedly. I'll share the details of how you do the protocol. We'll go through the experience together and we have the full sauna set up right here. But everything is way more fun with friends. So let's get them in. Boom, two friends here. I've got Steven. He's a yoga instructor and a tango dancer. Um, and he runs a lot of triathlons. Triathlons? He yeah. won a couple world champions. True. And then we got Clayton here. She's a longevity expert. She's uh, currently 300 years old. Um, but today we're going to test the Huberman sauna protocol. You guys ready? Yeah. I don't know. Do you know what it is? I have no idea. Okay, so maybe I'll, I'll just give you a quick summary. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, you're only supposed to do this once a week. Okay, you don't want to sauna more than that. So you're only going to sauna once a week if you do this or less. And this is how it works. We're doing multiple sessions of 30 minutes each with cool down periods in between. So 30 minutes in the sauna, cool off for five minutes, 30 more minutes in the sauna, cool off. He says for a few hours, and then you repeat that for a total of four 30 minute sessions in one day. We filmed the video with Andy Galpin this morning and he said, be careful, some NFL guys did this and they almost had to go to the hospital. So I don't think this is very safe, but we're gonna attempt to do as much of it as we can. I don't think we're gonna make the full 30 minutes, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I thought we were friends, dude. <laughs> I'll see you up there. All right, <laughs> let's go inside. Uh, thir thir 30 minutes is crazy. I, I do the sauna a few oh, times a week, towel. but yeah, I do like 10, 15 minutes at a time. 30 minutes, that's that's bonkers, dude. Let's go inside. I'm gonna start, it's 12 o'clock. How hot is it? What? How hot is it? Let's find out. How hot is it, Brian? It is 198 degrees. <laughs> we'll set it to 189. You ready? Vamos. Let's do it. Vamos. Vamos, vamos. Don't bring my phone, right? What's your opinion on putting a phone in the sauna? Yeah, I think it I think it really like drained my battery. Oh no, I'll bring it. It'll be fine. Alright, here we go. Yeah, Welcome to the Redwood Outdoor Sauna. This thing is sweet. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh, man. We're officially now in the sauna. It is 12.01 on the dot. The sauna says it's at 200 degrees Fahrenheit <laughs> <laughs> and 30-ish percent humidity. What's How are you the... feeling? I'm feeling, this feels great, actually. This feels really, really good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah, you made me feel better by saying that. <laughs> yeah, so now I just sit here for 30 minutes. Okay. So you can pour water on this thing? Is that what the label Yeah, yeah, okay. So yeah, that we're going to spray on the rocks. You want to spray it? Yeah. Spray. Is it spraying, you guys? Oh, it smells, it smells good. good. Yeah, what do you think? Oh, it smells really good. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's great. Is that eucalyptus? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Brian, how do you sun? feel? PG. PG. Yeah. So the thermometer outside says 180, which is this unit right here. This thermometer is going up. It's at 120 right now. I was holding it down here and it was like 110. So it could be 180 up here and 110 by my knees, which is crazy. And even colder, maybe even like what, 60 by my feet. Oh, okay. So this is about 199 is what the meat thermometer is saying in this region vicinity. Maybe if I move it down here, it might decrease a little bit. But the thermometer up there is saying 190, which is the wooden one. And the one outside is saying 187. 187 outside. Let's just say 190 is the temperature we're gonna sustain this at Fahrenheit. So this did come with a ladle where we can pour water on it, but my parents don't like when we pour water because I guess it makes the rocks all dirty. Also, this is not built very well, it's leaking. But we're gonna try it anyways. Woo! And that's supposed to increase humidity. But people, oh my. Oh, I feel that. Yeah? Damn. Oh, wow. All right, now it's getting really hot. 30 minutes, oh, how are we doing on time? Hi. Nine minutes in. Oh, what? Nice. Something closing. Uh, so most people would think when you put water on the rocks, that's increasing the heat, but it's actually increasing the humidity, which makes it feel warmer. You think you can survive another 20 minutes? I, I'm gonna try to beat you is my goal. So what? I'll, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. What about you? A little, little competitive. We'll see how I feel. How long do you think you could last in here, considering we've been in here nine and a half? I think I could do it. Really? 30 full minutes? Yeah. <sighs> it's the question if I want to. So, fun fact of the day, there's one competition that still exists where people die. Do you know what it is? Is it sitting in a sauna too long? Yeah, sauna <laughs> Olympics. Oh, there's a sauna. So you're like, I'm gonna do it longer than you. That's what they do. They say who can last in the sauna the longest. Oh boy. The Finnish and the Russians are the best. And someone always dies. Oh. So you down to compete? 
I feel like this is like Russian roulette. Yeah, the sweat is making everything drip down into our faces. Yeah. So what is this? Is this going to boost my gains? Yeah, it's a growth hormone. Oh yeah, is that what we were going to talk about? Mm -hmm. I would hope so. What was the question why again? I, was Why are we doing this to ourselves? Yes. Because we're masochists. Ah. A little bit. Yeah, we're masochists. So supposedly growth hormone can help with metabolic gains. So actually when you do this, you want to be in a semi-fasted state. So not having had food for two to three hours before. The lower your blood glucose levels, the better. To for growth hormone release, fun fact. So the entire pizza that I ate in the car. Also yeah, it's not ideal. What do you think your glucose levels are at? <laughs> Pretty high. Mine's at 126, so that's not good at all. <laughs> so we're kind of high. I had two eggs, avocado toast, and cottage cheese. You might be pretty good. You didn't get the actor's notes that you have to come fasted? <laughs> and I did it. I got a text <laughs> well, this morning. <laughs> this protocol is best if only used once every week or so. Mm -hmm. The more frequent sauna use has other effects, but will blunt growth hormones increasing effects. And it says that if you want to get a sauna, use code SHERVIN for the Redwood Sauna Outdoors. It'll be linked down in the description and the pinned comments. Save you some money and help support the channel so we can keep making videos and being masochists and running random tests like this. 12 minutes in. Okay. We're not even halfway. We just opened the door. You feel colder now? Ah, uh, feels really nice. Much needed. <laughs> Do you think opening the door makes it better or worse? Well, it depends. If we're here for purely gains, I think it's worse. <laughs> but, I, you know. For just comfortability, I think it's good to open it up here. Yeah, because we're dying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Literally losing all of my water. <laughs> oh, you're talking about water. It's a great question. How much should we hydrate while we're doing this? Three water bottles per 30 minute session. And if you're doing four, that's 12 water bottles just for the sauna. And we have no water. Oh yeah. None of us. This is called uh, training. <laughs> it's been 15 minutes. <clears throat> All right, that lasted 17 minutes. It's not just too much, man. You can't do this. It's been 30 minutes. Has it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh. oh, that was brutal, bro. Yeah? I feel exhausted. This is it. We finished our 30 minutes. Yeah, Steven did the full 30. Clayton, how long did you do? Probably 16 minutes. Yeah, I think I did six, 16, 17. You did it longer than me. I did 17, so you probably did 18. Now we're gonna cold plunge. We have five minutes to cool off before we get back into the sauna. This is hard. Yeah. yeah. I don't think this is healthy. I don't recommend this protocol. You can you can rest or cold plunge. <gasps> All right, freshly filled ice barrel. The time, is it three or six? In here? Yeah. One to three minutes? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, so, so the cold plunge is just optional. I added this in. Wait, what? what? Is this based on bro science? And then cool off outside the sauna for five minutes. And then you go right back in. No cold plunge. It doesn't, I think it's like optional. Yeah. 16 ounces of water for every 10 minutes. I won't throw it. So you need, you need to drink. Reflexes might be a little scary. Yeah. So you need to drink. Two of those. For every 10 minutes. So 30 minutes would be six of those. This thermal camera is saying 20 degrees. How is it? <sighs> For me, but no, it feels good. It's actually colder than I expected. Really? Mm-hmm. Oof. It's cold. It's cold all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure, but it's your turn. <laughs> It's too cold. <laughs> this wasn't part of the protocol. Oh, it's cold. Three minutes. Ooh. All right, Steven. Oh yeah, zoom in on this face. Oh, oh dang, that is cold. That is cold, just, just do it. All right, it's three. Oh, okay, it's three. <laughs> Bam. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Ooh. Back in the sauna we go for round two. All right. Bada bang, bada boom. See if we don't need this. All right. Good to be here. All right, it's official. This is our second round at 30 minutes in the sauna. 
17 last time. I don't know if I'm gonna last 30 minutes again. But we've got our sauna spray. Do you think I'll have any sweat left for my class tonight? What are you teaching tonight? Hit. Hit. Ooh. So we're at 16 minutes approximately. For some reason, the second round feels easier, right? Why do you think that is? Don't know. Okay, we're at like 20 minutes. I'm dying. This 30 minutes thing is like way too hard. He didn't explicitly say the temperature in this specific part of the protocol, which was interesting because the other two said 176 to 212 Fahrenheit. But we're doing that same temperature. Hey right, guys, I'm done. I'm out. Me too. All right. You guys are staying? I'm gonna do it a couple more minutes. Okay, good for you. Okay. I'm not sweating, I just jumped in the ice bath. This is harder. Huh? It's harder? I think it's maybe we waited longer than the last round. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Better than the first. The first was brutal. First scene. 30, 30 brutal. minutes was brutal, man. Yeah. That 20 wasn't so bad. Yeah, 30 minutes. And then you have to do this again later in the day. That's the yeah. protocol. Yeah. 30 minutes, five minute break, 30 minutes, chill, and then do it again. So oh. what, like, what is this supposed to be said? It's a growth like hormone. It, I think it increases each, growth hormone by 16x. 16? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not easier. After that, uh, sauna, that's for sure. Yeah, of course. <sighs> Thoughts on uh, the Huberman growth hormone protocol. Do you feel like you have a lot of growth hormone now? I do. Yeah, I feel, no, I feel like really good. Um, I feel it's like, not just the sauna and cold plunge experience. I don't know. That's, that's hard <laughs> to say, but I feel like kind of like relaxed, loose a little bit, but I don't know. How do you, def how do you feel like? I, like I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. You can't, you don't know if it's I, like, I, I don't want to do push-ups right now. I don't know. Go for it. Dude. How do you feel? I, I you could, it feels like a great contrast therapy session. What do you mean? Like going hot, cold, hot, cold. Mm -hmm. like it feels good. Happy I did it. And this is something I do every week. And so it's nice. I don't know that. But I can't tell you that I feel like there's more growth hormone unless I do a blood test. It's like, harder because you have to spend more time in the sauna. Usually it's like 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and then go in the cold. So this requires a lot more hot. It's just better blood flow, I think. You think? Yeah, probably. The beginning was really hard. Yeah. And then I think it got so much easier the second time around. Mm -hmm. I feel like my body was just ready to warm up. It was already warm. Yeah. I don't know. Cold plunge was my favorite part. <laughs> uh, I felt just like strong afterwards. But again, I think the same thing as you. It's like a good contrast therapy session. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really know what growth hormone feels like in the female body. <laughs> Probably don't recommend doing 30 minutes in the sauna like that. But we tested it. We experienced it. He has a whole bunch of protocols for sauna contrast therapy. I'll have that link down below. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and use code Shervin for the Redwood Outdoor Sauna. That will also be linked down below. See you in the next video. Peace.